Hello and welcome to the bushland right near my home. Uh, today you'll see it's a beautiful bright blue sunny day which is not the best time to be out in the woodlands but it's a good time to go scouting and I'm also just on the lookout for little areas where the sunlight kind of highlights interesting um, features and textures and things like that. Now the gum trees here have all just recently or they're in the process of losing their outer bark and the outer bark is uh, often quite dark and not quite as interesting but underneath you get these beautiful different colors and textures and uh, yeah really really love it so um, I'm going to have a look around at that see what else I can find and uh, store away some some places to come back on a day when maybe either kind of first thing in the morning last thing in the afternoon or when <laughs> There might be fog, which doesn't actually happen here very often, but maybe a cloudy day. All right, let's go and see what I can find. tree I came past a couple of days ago and uh, I'm really loving the interesting colors and textures that there are on the trunk here now something that's really interesting about it is this little section right here now What this looks like is that there was once another tree here and this gum tree I think has grown up around it is all I can guess so if anyone else is, knows a bit more about trees than I do feel free to <laughs> give me a hand but that's that's what it looks like Just behind me here, I've got um, a couple of trees that I really quite like and I'd like to come back and try and photograph in some better light, some softer light. Uh, I also think what I need is a longer lens. Now, I'm currently waiting on the 70 to 300 Panasonic lens, which I'm just bursting to get. And once I do, I think I'll bring that lens down maybe just just that lens so I don't get too caught up in trying other things but not only does the 70 to 300 help you zoom in but it's also got a pretty good macro function so yeah I think uh, once I get it I'll come back down to this spot and try photography just with that lens and see how that goes so fingers crossed that comes soon but this tree, I really love this one, how it's got this jaggedy branch heading over to the side. And you've got the other tree on the opposite side, which, uh, which kind of helps frame, frame that area. But you really need to get in quite close. Now, I think just looking at it with my, my current lens, probably either in quite a 4-3 a that sort of crop or even a one-to-one -one square is probably going to work better with this setting. So I've got 
behind me here another scene that I definitely want to come back to with a softer light. Now you can see we've got these beautiful ferns in the foreground. Now the first time I ever came down this track there I don't think there were any ferns in just this area. There were a few dotted here and there but not very many but because we've had a much wetter year this past year than what it had been before there is now a real abundance of ferns and it is so much greener down here now there's a little creek along the back and it appears that it's dry but i'm pretty sure there's actually some water that's running along underneath the rocks down there because when you go further down it actually comes out so that water is helping all this area be a lot more abundant than it has which is fantastic so i i love these ferns and then if you have a look we've got these trees here now this one in the middle is the one i probably like the best however i'm doing some compositions more uh, on a much uh, narrower field so about 35 mil than this and more around these three here put this in the box of uh, places that I'll also be coming back to okay so that's me done for my scouting trip so I found at least two spots to go back to in different lighting conditions, which I'm really looking forward to. I think I'll probably go back multiple times to those spots. And a tip I would give for photographing in woodlands on a day like today where it is really bright and sunny is instead of looking at the big picture and putting the wide angle on, Go in for the detail. Look at those details on the trees, the grasses, where the light and shade fall, those sorts of details. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you hit that like button because it does help other people to find the video too. And uh, if you haven't seen the last couple of times I've been down here, then I'll pop the links up to those two at the end of the video. And uh, you'll find that uh, one of the days, at least, was a little bit different to what it is today. All right, catch you all next time. doing a bit of a scouting trip because as you'll see it's a bright blue scunny scunny <laughs>